Welcome to another episode of Blueprints Unsealed. In this segment, we will look at the connections between civilizations and powerful star constellations. For centuries, mankind has marveled at the night sky. The stars in the heavens has been a source of inspiration, mystique, and fears. From the moment humans looked to the stars, they realized and felt a deep connection. Since then, humans has relied on the night sky as a source of navigation, surveying, architecture, timekeeping, storytelling, and much more. Perhaps the most intriguing idea rests on the principles of unlocking divine powers. There are those who believe that copying the constellations can unlock an age of prosperity and great wealth. There is one constellation that stands out the most through many civilizations, both ancient and contemporary alike. It is known in the Western Hemisphere as the Orion Constellation. The Orion constellation is identifiable by some of its brightest stars. First up is Betelgeuse, can be identified as a very bright and red star which forms the left part of Orion's arm. Next is Bellatrix. This star is the third brightest in the Orion constellation and it sits 5 degrees west of Betelgeuse. Next up is Regal. This is a blue supergiant. It sits at the right foot of the Orion constellation. Finally, we will look at the three stars that form the Orion Belt. From left to right, they are Alnatak, Alnilim, and Mantaka. These three stars are also known as the Three Kings, and they are the easiest way to locate Orion in the night sky. The story of Orion the Hunter held a special significance in the beliefs of many ancient cultures. It was a central figure of Egyptian pantheon of gods, the god of resurrection, which was revered by ancient Egyptians as Osiris. In other words, the stars of Orion was associated with Osiris, the god of rebirth and afterlife by the ancient Egyptians. Next, we will see how the Orion constellation reveals itself in many structures, both ancient and contemporary. Next, we'll head over to ancient Egypt. Located in the outskirts of Cairo, lies one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, known as the Pyramids of Giza. They consist of the Great Pyramid of Khufu, the Pyramid of Khafre, and the Pyramid of Mukaru. They stand an amazing 455 feet high, which even in today's terms is considered pretty high. Their construction took place somewhere between the 3rd and 4th Egyptian dynasty. The construction of the pyramids took many years to build. The pyramids are a fixed and true north, meaning if you position a compass flat, the direction of the pyramid will point to the same direction where the north needle is situated. Now, if we look at how the three pyramids are aligned, we see that they are strikingly identical to how the stars of Orion's are aligned. Here, you see the pyramids of Khufu and Khafre are the biggest and evenly aligned, while the pyramids of Mukaru is smaller and slightly misaligned. It is believed by experts that this alignment is to reflect the relationship between the alignment of al Tanakh and al Nalam with the smaller and off center of the star Mataka. In addition, the relationship of where the Milky Way is situated in relationship to the Orion Belt is also identical to the relationship between the Pyramids of Giza and the Nile River. Next, we'll look at the connections with Washington, D.C. Even in modern times, we can see the constellation of Orion's Belt mirrored in the positioning of the White House, Capitol Building, and the Supreme Court. These three locations are important to United States democracy. The White House is home to the President. The Capitol Building is the meeting place of the United States Congress and the seat of the legislative branch of the U.S. federal government. And the Supreme Court of the United States is the highest court in the federal judiciary of the United States of America. These three branches are the cornerstone in which the separation of power is symbolized. Similar to the alignment of al Natak and al Anam, you have the alignment of the White House and the House of Congress. In addition, the off-centering of the star Mataka is also mirrored in the positioning of the Supreme Court, in which is being offset in relationship to the other two houses. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why did the architects choose to off-center the Supreme Court and why not the White House or Congress? Well, some may argue that this was not done intentionally, but what do you think? Next, we'll look at the connection with Paris. Now that we look at Paris, one of its most iconic structures is the Eiffel Tower. It stands 1,000 feet tall and was built to commemorate the centennial of the French Revolution, and it shows off France's modern mechanical prowess on the world stage. Northeast of the Eiffel Tower is the Luxor Obelisk. 
It was originally built in Egypt as a pair that stood on both sides of the portal of the Luxor Temple in the reign of Ramses II. The right-hand stone obelisk is now at the center of the Place de la Concorde in Paris, France. Northeast, we find the Vidome Column. The original column was started in 1806 at Napoleon's direction and completed in 1810. The column was designed and built to celebrate the victory of Austerlitz. Again, we find that these instrumental monuments are again aligned in the same format as the stars are aligned in Orion's belt. Next, we'll look at the connection with New York. The Freedom Tower, or better known as One World Trade Center, is located in downtown section in New York City. It stands 1,776 feet tall. The building was constructed at the original Twin Towers were destroyed during a terrorist attack. In the aftermath, now lies a memorial site which includes footprints where the original tower stood. The layout now includes the New World Trade Center, the North Tower footprint, followed by the South Tower footprint. Now, just like the constellation of Orion Belt, it appears that the layout just mentioned mirrors the layout of Al-Nalam and Montaka. In conclusion, no one can know for sure if there's a connection between the constellation of Orion's Belt and the layout of such cities and places which includes Egypt, Washington DC, Paris, and New York. The speculation that the connections exist may just be urban legend. However, you may look at it, the similarities between each of these cities layout is uncanny. Now, whether mirroring the constellation will bring power and prosperity to any of these places is true, well, just let you be the judge of that. But in any event, just like the Orion constellation, all of these cities and locations mentioned above all give off a feeling of awe and astonishment and has showcased some of the best architectural design the world has ever known. Thank you for watching. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons.